Welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to replace a charging port on an LG Stylo 3. So here we have the replacement port and here we have the phone, damaged phone. Uh, actually I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna try to go closer. As you guys can see this uh, port is being thoroughly busted. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this for a fresh one. And I'm gonna show you guys right now. First thing first, we're gonna remove the motherboard out of this phone. And we can see right away we have our port right here. You see this little holder? It's perfectly fine to use it on, on, on these motherboards. This is pretty cool. I've been using this one for a long time. And we're gonna use it today too. So I can show you guys this uh, charging port replacement. All right, now we have secured our board right here. What we're gonna do is gonna proceed and remove the old charging port. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna use our heat gun. We're gonna set it up at 350 degrees Celsius. And we're gonna give it a 50 on air. We're gonna use uh, that setup and we're gonna proceed to heat uh, this up, melt the soldering and remove or extract this charging port. See this right here when I'm pointing with my tweezers be careful try to avoid at any cost to hit this part right here because that's the microphone and it's very easy to damage so try to concentrate the heat extremely close only try to concentrate the heat only on the charging port As you guys can see, very easy. Right there. We have the old charging port right there. All right, we're gonna just throw this out and now we're gonna apply flux in the area where we're gonna solder our new charging port back but first we're gonna clean this up how we're gonna do that same thing i'm gonna grab uh some of my wick they call this um uh, this kind of wire they call wick this will um this and my soldering iron will suck the old soldering out of this area I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. At this point, I'm gonna turn on my uh, fume extractor. All right, now this is how we're gonna clean it. Uh, we're gonna just uh, put the wick, which is this little mesh, and we're gonna put our soldering iron on top. And we're gonna move it to the side. So you guys can see, this little mesh suck the uh, old solder out of these little holes. That's gonna give us um, a chance just to sit our new charging port on top. You know what I mean? I'm gonna show you in just a second.
All right, that's good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this area with 99% uh, alcohol. All right, we're gonna try to fit our new charging port in there. Now that it's all clean, and see how it goes. All right. I have uh, we have successfully uh, cleaned this area. Yeah. Our chart, our new charging port, sit on place really, really nice. As you guys can see, after do that procedure, our new charging port sits on place perfectly. Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna do the next process under the microscope. Okay guys, this is the new charging port. What we're gonna do right here is now apply some flux first on on every leg of this charging port where it holds to the uh, motherboard. Uh, as you guys can see, um, it's very important because we're gonna secure this very well. So the charging port doesn't uh, fall apart when the people just plug in and plug off their their cords. Make sure this uh, is a strong hold. We're gonna apply also in the middle where the pins are at, uh, are gonna make contact to the motherboard. Uh, and we're gonna apply some solder uh, with our uh, soldering iron. Uh, just have in mind uh, the solder that I use is uh, 6337. That's the, that's the one uh, we usually use on this uh, charging port or soldering and we're gonna keep just going around uh, the four legs that we have here then uh, holding this uh, I mean actually making sure this this charging port is uh, is well soldered soldered to the to the motherboard all right first step done and now we're gonna make sure every single pin on the charging port is um, well attached to the the pads on the motherboard so we're gonna do this with our soldering iron try to get like a small uh, tip um, so that that would be easier for you the, the smaller the tip uh, I mean you don't have to get like a needle but uh, just get a good side of tip so that would be easier and we're gonna just go ahead and and go one by one on these pins uh, just welding it to the uh, motherboard uh, just make sure not to join them when you apply solder make sure that all the pins are are not uh, making uh, contact to each other because uh, that could be an issue. If you make the pin solder to each other, what you're gonna cost is a short on the phone when you plug in the charging port. So just make sure weld every single pin um, uh, to the pads, but not to each other. So, and if you apply just a little bit uh, on top of the charging port, like you see right here, we can just grab some wick and scrape it uh, out let you guys just easy like this um, always try to do your best job i know some machines are not uh, are not gonna do the job as well as, as this one but uh, just go slow you don't have to rush the job and anything gonna just give it a little brush right here uh, with alcohol and clean our area and make sure I always like to have a second look uh, to those um, joints. Uh, make sure they're not um, they're not making contact to each other. That's the the most important part. Uh, then they are not making contact to each other, and also they're not um, have weak 
joint you know I sometimes I just grab uh, my uh, my tweezer and I start to move them I'm gonna show you right here I start to move them can find it all right yeah here uh, we're gonna just move try to move every every one of them make sure they don't move you know if they like uh, kind of shake uh, we know they they haven't been weld to the pad so I just I just touch every single one of them make sure they don't they don't shake and at this moment we have successfully um, soldered this uh, new charging port into this motherboard so now we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this motherboard back into the housing and we're gonna test it this is how we have fun here <laughs> Now we're gonna go to the moment of truth. We're gonna test it. There you go, guys. As you guys can see, we have successfully fixed this Stylo 3 um, charging port. And um, these charging ports right here, you can buy them for. If you buy like 10 of them, I think like for 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 10 of them, a dollar or two. That's the most uh, you're going to spend on that. If you order like two of them, probably it's going to cost you like five bucks. But uh, there you go, guys. Um, that's all the money you're going to spend on this. Not much though. And as you guys can see, the, this was really dead. Uh, you can see the light right here. Oops. <laughs> The light right here uh, is red, means it's charging. And if I press the button, you see we already have 2% of battery uh, on just these few these few minutes. Then we just plug it in. I press the power button, and this phone already already start. We'll see if it goes through. There you go guys, that's how you fix a um, charging port on uh, LG Stylo 3. Uh, let me go close right here, as you guys can see, the phone charging. Unplug, phone stop charging, and I plug it in back again, and boom, the phone start charging. That's beautiful guys. I hope uh, this video helped you on something. Oh look what a nice message on this phone. God is love. God is love. Yeah. Of course it is. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, uh, please give a thumbs up. Any questions, just leave down in the comment below. And just if you have any requests and videos you wanna you want me to do any repair and special on any device that you have uh, any doubt how to fix it just leave it in the comment and please thank you for your support uh, god bless you and i'll see you in the next video bye